The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, it's your boy F-I-L-I back again with another episode of Styles by Philly and this is part dos. For this episode right here, you probably checked out the previous episode which was part one of the second drop of the Fear God Essentials that came out not too long ago. You could check right up there, you'll see the link if you want to catch part one real quick. Now we're going to tap into part two in regards to the other pieces that I picked up on this five K hey, 5,000, uh, five stacks that I spent on Fear of God Essentials just to make sure I got my proper sizing and to make sure I didn't miss out on any pieces because I was afraid that they might sell out. I'm going to give you reviews, some try-ons, we're going to make some comparisons. So with that being said, let's get into it. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me? Confident on my left is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing. I found my route. So, we're back to part number two for this Fear of God Essentials drop number two. You know, the first video was a lengthy one, as you guys know. I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit shorter, but you know what I mean? There was so many pieces to cop from this drop number two. A lot of pieces that, you know, a lot of people weren't expecting to all drop all at once. You know, there are still a few pieces that were missing, but I'm gonna talk about the second portion of the things uh, that I purchased for this Essentials drop. Now, a few of the pieces I'm about to keep, other pieces that I might have to return, I don't know yet, but I did try them on. I did compare them to a few things that I have already. I'm actually really excited to talk about these pieces. The first piece I want to talk about right here is this This a denim jacket. This black denim jacket was really, really, really dope. 100% cotton, soft, 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 soft. One thing I love about this jacket is the fact that it's very, very simple. You know what I mean? Like the buttons on the jacket are just this matte black and I ain't mad at it. I love it because it's one of those things that like if you know, you know kind of thing. You know, I don't need too much branding. It still has that rubberized logo on the back, real clean, tonal, so it matches the jacket. I thought it was really, really dope. Let me tell you something about this piece right here. It is super uber soft. Like it's, it feels like butter. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a fan of this jacket. I was looking forward to this because I knew they were going to release a black jacket last year. In comparison to the previous denim jackets, the dark indigo as well as the light indigo um, from a few drops ago, uh, this jacket is a lot oversized. If I were to compare it to anything or any other brand, and <laughs> you know what I mean, I maybe put in my, my foot in my mouth for this one, but it gives me Balenciaga vibes. It's very oversized. Uh, I, well, you know, for lack of a better term, it's, it is oversized uh, more than the previous jackets. So there's a lot more room, especially around the sleeves. Um, with, with this jacket, the cool thing I like about this jacket is that, you know, I'm actually able to wear without an issue if I ever wanted to layer up my Yeezy Gap uh, hoodies. Like the arms fit perfectly fine inside of it. I have no issue, there's no room issue. Like, I really, really like it. Like, if you like that oversized boxy look, um, I would say get the jacket. Uh, if you want something more, you know, still boxy, but not too, too big, I would say size down. Or if you want something to like a regular fit, I would say size down two times. But in my opinion, this jacket was constructed the way it was constructed because there's a vision in mind. And I really, really love this jacket. I'm a huge fan of this jacket. I can see myself rocking this you know a lot so this was one of the pieces I was looking forward to I did not get the denims that that um that came out with this the, the, the dark black denims but that's because I had them from the previous drop but since this is oversized I have a feeling those denims might be oversized too so I will be copying in the near future going on to the next piece is this right here this barn jacket you know, price tag on this was pretty up there. Um, in Canadian pricing, it was close to $300. Uh, so it was really, really up there. My take on this, it was really, really dope. But let me start off with colorway first. This oak colorway was a disappointment. Sorry, a disappointment. Just like the desert tote. When I saw this uh, oak colorway, I thought it was going to be this rich, rich uh, tan 
something very similar to what like a Timberland boot would look like, right? Not that bright, but something similar. You know, based on the pictures, that's what it looked like. And I was like really excited. I said in the very, uh, you know, first drop video that I was excited to see the desert open the old colorways. But it was very disappointing to see that this is what I got instead. Um, not the biggest fan, to be honest, of the color. But what can I say? In regards to the jacket, I think it's a dope jacket. The price is really up there. It does give you farmer vibes. I ain't gonna lie to you. Again, barn jacket being in the title itself. Uh, it does have nice little details. The buttons don't have details. You can, you know, you have double closure, which is, you know, buttons and a zipper. You know, you have two pockets, side pockets, as well as the front pockets right here as well with details within these velcro straps because it says essentials inside as well as the velcro straps by the cuff of the jacket so i like these little details really really cool again it has a black rubberized logo on the back by the neck really really cool when it comes to the sizing on this jacket i did go to my true size with essentials i went with the medium i'm not complaining to be honest usually with jackets especially ones like this uh i can't see myself trying to look clean i can see myself layering uh with this jacket so you know hoodies and, and anything that has to do with a thick uh garment like even the knit hoodies or just a regular knit will fit perfectly fine in this awesome for layering i would say for the fall um even when those winter days come you can still layer it a bit um even in spring you know what i mean uh it's it's it's, it's gonna be a good uh jacket to, to use for layering i love this piece and the pieces that have this material just for the fact that it is i believe 68 percent cotton 30 percent poly 32 percent polyester uh and i'm mad at it more organic materials placed on this jacket one thing i would like to mention about these jackets and it has to do anything like basically all the jackets whether it's this barn jacket or the coach jackets in the past is i wish they did have inside pockets um you know on your left side right here where you can just you know go ahead and put in your cell phone or put in you know your wallet um things like i wish it did have that these jackets don't typically have that if i were to compare uh other jackets that are very similar um i do have a burberry one that's like this uh it, you know i have more 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 pocket options especially with the fact that i can put my cell phone or my wallet inside i'm not the type to put it inside my front pockets i just don't like people seeing that you can see what i have in my pockets uh it doesn't give me a clean uh aesthetic look so i'm not a fan of that but overall i do like the the look of this jacket in, the, in regards to aesthetics um and how how it drapes but my preferred color wouldn't have been this old color it would have been that weak color that weak color looks a lot better in this jacket i personally think Going on to the next piece, which is brah, this work vest. Now, I was looking forward to this just because I've been looking for vests far and wide. <laughs> Something that I can layer up with, not too thick, not too thin. And this was perfect, you know what I mean? Something that Essentials dropped because, you know, I love the branding. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, you know, love the brand and the fact that they dropped this was really really cool it has um two zippers in the front you know you can zip it up or zip it down fully all the way it does have details on the zippers with the ease which is pretty pretty cool the back does have a rubberized logo uh by the neck and you can see that it's a uh, black um tonal rubberized logo right there really really cool really really clean it has two pockets as well side pockets as well as you know your front pockets right here and just like the barn jacket it does have the detailed essentials right there in the velcro now i know this is called the work vest uh in my opinion it gave me fisherman vibes uh type vest <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you like depending on how you wear it it does give you this like fisherman um aesthetic look to it i do like it i think i can see myself rocking this because it's something that I did want. You could rock this with t-shirts, with hoodies. I don't think you need to size down on this. I think uh, going to your true to size and essentials is fine. If you, you know, with that oversized look, uh, you can layer it with your uh, hoodies, with your crew neck, uh, even with just plain t-shirts. But if you do want a cleaner, uh, more uh, true to size fit, I would definitely say go for a uh, size uh, smaller. 
Same thing with this uh, old colorway when it came to the vest. Uh, as much as I did not like the colorway, I definitely like uh, the aesthetics of the vest. So I figured I'd pick up the oak. Now, there were three colors, sorry, pardon me, four colors to this vest. It was the iron, the oak, um, the wheat, and the sea foam. I personally went for the darker shades. I couldn't see myself rocking the sea foam. It didn't make any sense for me to get it because I don't think there's any pieces that would look dope. I mean, I could put a dope outfit with it together, but it wouldn't get as much use. I think the iron and the oak would get more use than the wheat or the the sea foam. Um, that's why I chose the oak over the wheat because it is a darker shade uh, of color and I can see myself rocking this more than uh, the wheat or the sea foam. Now, coming down to these coach jackets so i like the fact that you know these jackets they're 68 percent cotton uh they're very very soft i'll tell you this much uh unlike the nylon this does it doesn't protect you much from uh let's say rain or anything if it were to get wet um but it does it does you know like if you were, were to get slightly wet with this jacket um Again, it would roll down a little bit like you can see some of the when I when I wet it underneath the, the faucet for a bit you, you did see that it didn't soak up fully if you pat it down it did soak up So if you catch yourself in a very very rainy rainy day, this is not going to protect you On the back now, I know I mentioned in previous videos. I cannot see myself rocking in 1977 um, Like anywhere along my chest. I wanted subtle and I did cop one piece, which was the the knit sweater, the, the raw edge knit sweater. And that's the only piece that I have that has 1977 on my chest. But this 1977 on the back of the jacket, I thought was clean. I don't mind rocking this, you know what I mean? It, it reminds me like if it was like a jersey, you know, a basketball jersey. Um, that's why I don't mind the number on the back. I think it's really, really dope. Again, nothing different from the first drop of coach jackets that were in nylon. Again, it has the cuff by the wrist, you know. Um, what else can I say about this jacket? Just very, very clean. Pockets in the back, you know, still like the fact that it is cotton. So really, really dope. Now, I did mention that, you know, with these coach jackets, I like them a lot that I didn't know if I was going to get distracted from the previous nylon coach jacket that I had. And I did. I got distracted. I got another Seafoam 1977 jacket. Uh, in the in, in in cotton, I think this is really dope. I actually sized up on this one to give you guys a size comparison between the nylon that was a medium and this um, cotton a sea foam that is a large. Uh, you guys would be surprised that it doesn't fit that at all. I didn't mind sizing up in it. I was gonna give it back, and I don't think I'm going to. I'm probably gonna keep this piece because I like this oversized look, and plus the materials look different when it came to. Um, having both jackets you know what i mean they are both see from the nylon one that i had from the first drop and then this one right here but i get this vibe that i can add patches to this jacket and make it look into like a nice cool you know very um you know hippie era type jacket because of this 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 green it doesn't look like an army green but it, it it's it's not a bad green either the one thing i didn't like about this jacket and you'll probably see is that the quality control was terrible there's some stitching that's coming off right there on my left shoulder on the back um and if i put it towards light you can see that <laughs> there's actually a hole and that was kind of annoying and for the price point on these jackets I mean, there should be some more quality control because I'm not trying to spend 175 Canadian um, knowing that there's other brands out there that sell similar jackets that will not have this issue, which is, you know, something that I that bothers me. You know what I mean? So overall, I think the jacket's dope quality control. Maybe it's just mine. I mean, I'm a little upset if I, if I do start getting some... Uh, holes in my jacket because something I didn't do and it came like this. It's kind of annoying Now the pieces that kind of shocked me were this right here Ah, oh, that hit me right in the face. That's cool though. Bam this relaxed fit trouser to be honest These are super super soft. They I love these trousers. I went from my size medium to the size I'm not mad at it. I think these trousers are really, really dope. You know, it has this clean look because it's like, it's not a sweatpant. It looks like a pant. 
it has a elastic waistband with the fear god uh essentials right there in the middle so you can tuck in your shirt and give that uncle at the barbecue vibe really really dope i like it these were a huge surprise to me just due to the fact that it didn't catch my attention they didn't look like anything i'd want but i said hey let me give it a try and the fact that they're oversized pardon me relaxed they fit so so dope with my shoes um you know it gives it this baggy feel and aesthetic that i that i really really like i really really love when i first got these you know what it reminded me of that i could rock it with is i could rock it with my overcoat fair god mainline um coat some converse and these and i would look like that ad when they released uh the fear god essentials converse um they had a few ads that you know they were wearing oversized coats and very baggy like you know trousers khakis with their with their um converse and i thought that 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 look was dope and i can pull that off with these to be honest i ain't mad at it it has a rubberized logo on the right corner pocket at the back two front pockets really dope again very comfy surprisingly the comfort on this is is amazing i would definitely say that my favorite pieces out of this drop were obviously you know the polar fleece camo but this piece right here because it was so shocking to see how comfortable and how they fit that i'm actually gonna give these my top pick out of this drop i would definitely say when it comes to these relaxed fit uh trousers that you should go through the size um if you want a smaller more i would say um you know true to size fit still with some sagging gold size uh one size down if you go two sizes down it may be a little bit uncomfortable around the waistband even though it's an elastic waistband it may be a little bit tight um i'm perfectly fine with my size medium i thought they were really really dope i find them cool the way they sag the way they uh stack at the bottom with my shoes you know i can see myself rocking these with a lot of different type of style shoes they may cause a bit of heel drag because they are a lot longer than other relaxed fit um i could definitely say that they don't they're not like your typical relaxed fit sweatpants these this material is a lot lighter so they do flow a lot different and i feel that they may go underneath your shoe or your california slip on if you were uh to style them with that but it shouldn't be a big deal i mean at the end of the day you could always go to a tailor and get them hemmed a little bit i think they're really dope uh again my top pick same thing with this right here i got this in the iron um i wanted something darker as well i might even get them in the wheat i think they're really really dope these relaxed uh fit trousers i personally think they're my top picks out of all this that just came out they they're shockingly comfortable and on top of that like i said they fit really really nice um you know with this oversized pant look that we have going on nowadays i think these are for the price range and the aesthetic that you get it's a steal so i definitely say people should invest in these relaxed fit trousers that being said i'm happy that you guys were able to check out everything that uh, you know that i copped you know some of these pieces i'm definitely going to be keeping i really really like them i really really love them you know i can see myself styling them in different ways so with that being said let's get into those styles Back. Blind, but since hip hop has lost its sight, and I'm far from the eye, it's been so hard to get recognized. I'm trying to revive it, give you third eye enlightenment. Why can't these grind my gifts? But that's what keeps me grinding. Lyrically, I'm nice, and my hands write politeness. So the pen gives me ink, I put it in a vice grip. I'm point like an ice pick, your deals are consignment. So kiss the ring of the fly's highest highness. Yes, I'm the finest, please do rewind this. F I L of the dawn, yes, I'm behind it. Okay, ain't no stopping us now. Oh, we the new, new dynasty, right? Yeah, you gon' hear this name ring bells. And then the producer, the engineer, Nate, he gon' make this shit sound right. Let's go, yeah. 
If I don't write raps, then who will? If I don't murder beats, then who kills? Name an artist better than me, I'm too thrilled. This is higher learning and hard work in the proof skill. Yeah, I'm too ill. Never was about a couple of grand, I'm too mill. Fuck how you feel, stop asking me who's real. 10,000 on the wrist, I did that with no deal. No time to sit still, top tier, my fate sealed. Yeah, sounds lucrative. Stepped up in the scene and they asking who is this? Rapper sounding ludicrous, my verses are truly bliss. CEO with the hat to wear, greatness is that shoe that fits. Uh, I'm much greater than y'all, self motivated. Pin my verse to the wall, a work of art. You thought I owned the world hall, I speak money. Let me pick up this car. Let's get the shit rolling right now. Hey yo, we want the stacks. We want you to cut the check. A motherfucker wants everything. It's boss talk in this room right now, right? Oh, we want it all. <laughs> we ain't want nothing less. Let's get it. And that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Styles by Philly for that Fear God Essentials drop number two part two. Let me know what you guys feel um, in regards to you know the pieces. You know what I mean? I personally like that denim jacket. It was fuego. Those relaxed fit trousers were surprisingly not on my radar, but you know what? They caught my attention. And once having them and giving them a try, I can see myself rocking these for quite some time with a lot of fits. You know, I like the fact that Fear of God Essentials put out some of these pieces. They are a lot different than your constant, you know, uh, sweats and hoodies and crew necks, you know? Like, this is really dope that I can expand my closet with this line alone, and I can combine them with different pieces that I already have with Mainline, amongst other brands itself. In the comment box below, let me know what you guys cop, how you guys feel in regards to sizing, the colors. Do you guys agree with what I said? You know what I mean? I hope you guys liked the review that I did today. You know, please make sure that you continue checking out this channel and subscribing tell a friend to tell a friend thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and you know the fact that we engage together in this community that we're all involved with it's beautiful it's been growing at a steady pace and I appreciate everyone for taking the time to watch the videos and also subscribing and telling friends about it also make sure that you listen to Philly's music you know I've been growing a lot with my music as well thank you for taking the time to listen to the tracks that pull out new music is coming on the way and another thing I want to mention is just make sure you check out uh, the next video make sure you you know you put your alerts on you subscribed because I have a partnership that I've done with a new brand that I'm gonna be discussing and you'd be surprised what I have to say about this on the description box below you'll catch all the fits that I had on today with everything that I put together so with that being said peace this okay. no, I can't clap so hold it like, no, that's fine. stupid I'm just clap yeah <laughs> stupid I would definitely say when it comes to this, <laughs> this, 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 you know, I think it's really, really dope that some of these things are so relaxed and, they, and some people do say that they feel a lot bigger, but I feel that it's a specific way of styling them. Sorry, your chair is...
it's the oh. green light. Oh, sorry, I'm moving. Yeah. Shit, that was on a roll. I know, but it, the <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> <laughs> Get the oil! <laughs> I think we good. <laughs> Get the oil!